हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अनसर्टेंटी एंड कॉम्प्लीमेंटरिटी प्रिंसिपल लेट्स बिगिन व्हाट इज कॉम्प्लीमेंटरिटी प्रिंसिपल अकॉर्डिंग टू कॉम्प्लीमेंटरिटी प्रिंसिपल the wave and particle aspects of matter and light are complementary rather than contradictory that is both the aspects are necessary for complete understanding of the same system we know the wave particle duality means a particle show both wave as well as particle characteristic whereas a wave also show particle characteristics if we consider matter it is show wave as well as particle characteristic if we consider light again it is show wave as well as particle characteristics these uh, two aspects are complementary one complements with another rather than contradictory which indicates these two aspects are necessary for complete understanding of a system this is the complementarity principle then how that uh, complementarity principle is useful to that of uncertainty principle in case of uncertainty principle the important consequence of uncertainty principle one of uh, such important consequence of uncertainty principle it is impossible to simultaneously determine the wave and particle nature of matter and light exactly matter so both particle as well as wave characteristic similarly light again so particle as well as wave characteristic but according to that uh, uncertainty principle simultaneously we can't determine the wave and particle nature for that of matter and light what it clarifies when we consider the wave nature of uh, such a system then uh, the particle characteristic of that particular system is silent again if we consider the particle characteristic for that particular system then uh, the wave characteristic is silent that is the uncertainty principle which is related to that of complementarity principle with the help of an example you understand how exactly it happened let us consider diffraction of a beam of electrons through single slit which is 1 such illustration of uncertainty principle we theoretically prove that uncertainty principle by taking the diffraction of beam of electrons through that of single slit we have already discussed which is a single slit an electron beam 
is passed through the top single slit on the top screen this is the screen where we observe the diffraction pattern and the diffraction pattern just like this this is the central maxima then first minima first minima second min minima and so on here first minima second minima and so on this type of diffraction pattern we notice on the top screen diffraction pattern from that of uh, illustration we conclude Heisenberg's uncertainty principle uncertainty in position into uncertainty of momentum is greater than or equal to s squared by 2 we known that illustration so what we obtain from that of experiment from that of experiment First, we see the diffraction pattern on that of screen, which is equivalent to the interference pattern due to waves of uh, wavelength equal to that de Broglie wavelength of electrons. So, that diffraction pattern due to the wave nature of electron the diffraction pattern on that screen due to the wave nature of electron again on that of same experiment if we try to observe the path of electron in that same experiment if we try to observe the path of electron then the diffraction pattern will destroy on that screen will destroy on that screen which indicates the particle nature of electron when electron pass through that of single slit on that of screen we observe the diffraction pattern we notice that diffraction due to the interference of waves which show the wave nature of electron again if we try to find the path of electron and we see the maximum intensity of electron on that region 
and there will be no electron to this region which clarify the particle nature of electron. In the same experiment if you try to observe the path of electron then the diffraction pattern will destroy on that screen which indicates the particle nature of electron. So, in the same experiment we see the wave nature and particle nature but uh, these two are not simultaneous. When we observe that uh, diffraction pattern due to the wave nature then the particle nature is silent and when we observe the particle nature then that wave nature is silent. Hence, we conclude that in that uh, same experiment, it displays either the particle characteristic or wave like characteristic. Of the same system. Therefore, the wave and particle pictures, the wave and uh, particle pictures give complementary description complementary description of the same system the wave uh, and particle picture give the complementary description of that of same system. So, here uh, with the help of this video lecture we understand the concept of uncertainty and complementary principle. What is uncertainty principle? We already known this is the complementarity principle and how that uncertainty principle is uh, related to that of complementarity principle. By using an example that is the diffraction of a beam of electrons with single slit we confirmed how the wave and particle pictures give complementarity description of that of particular system. So, with this useful and informative notes, let me wind up the session. Thank you.